All right, now let's head over to Singapore, where in recent years, many Singaporeans have been interested in trying the hyperbaric oxygen recovery therapy and significantly improve their wellness. Our CTA correspondent in Singapore, Danielle Razak, has more on this story as biohackers in the country work around the clock. Biohackers are people who modify their bodies to improve performance, health and well-being through strategic interventions. It can be as simple as regular exercising and intermittent fasting, to something complex like gene modification and chip implantation. Mild hyperbaring oxygen therapy is a biohacking trend that's gaining traction around the world in recent years. Celebrities like LeBron James and Kendall Jenner use it for sports recovery and improving wellness respectively. And biohackers in Singapore are getting in on it. I started this business because I was previously working and I was constantly tired. So then I was looking for ways to biohack myself um, for sports recovery and also to sleep better. Then I started O2 Genes and I realised that there are more people who can benefit from this. This therapy draws its evidence from hyperbaric medicine research, a medical field which uses high air pressure and pure oxygen to speed up healing of wounds and body tissues that are starved for oxygen. When we're in the hyperbaric environment, we'll be breathing high concentration of oxygen as well as in a hyperbaric environment, high pressure environment. So in those situations, our body will be hyper-oxygenated and then that's where we get the nutrients, which is oxygen, for biohacking our system. There is a difference in the medical hyperbaric as well as the cocoon that you see behind us. The main difference is pressure. So the ones in the medical side can have higher pressure. It means going up to two, if not even three atmospheres. As compared to ours here, can only go to 1.5 atmospheres. So 1.5 is equivalent to maybe five meters deep in water. And if you do diving, you will understand that 5 meters is actually the safety stop where we have to stop before we even ascend back to surface. So hence, our mild hyperbaric cocoons are relatively safe. Since its inception in 2017, O2 Jeans has served more than 800 customers. Six years ago, I started O2 Jeans and uh, back then, the awareness of oxygen or the benefits of oxygen were not that prevalent. Over time, Singaporeans or at least the local community start to read more about what the European athletes or the Japanese beauty practitioners start using hyperbaric for. And that's where we catch up and we get to see why hyperbaric oxygen can be helpful for ourselves. I've seen uh, many clients. Uh, one client of mine does marathons and he would take maybe three to five days to recover. But this time now when he did the hyperbaric, he would actually recover faster and he tells me that within the next day, he will be able to go for his recovery job. I have uh, children who are diagnosed in autism spectrum disorder and this actually led me to search about what um, I can do for them. And in this search, I started to learn about nutrition and I started to learn about other aspects that uh, can help my children. I found that in these children, there is a level of neuroinflammation or inflammation in the brain. And if we can give them the right kind of nutrition, it can actually help them to reduce the inflammation. So basically, having more oxygenation in their brain can help to uh, reduce the inflammation so much easier for them. So it's like accelerate their, um, their recovery process. This may be unconventional experimental biotechnology, but with how easy it is to access peer-reviewed medical journal online these days, the biohacking movement is not going anywhere anytime soon. So don't knock it until you try it. This is Daniel Razak, See Today, Singapore.